Uh, bonjour everyone. When outsiders think of Africa, many often think of wild animals. Our beautiful continent contains some of the world's most dense population of wildlife and the richest diversity of fauna on any continent on the planet. Thanks to its beautiful and enormous landscapes and diverse climates. Well, um, from Tanzania's protected Serengeti National Park to Botswana's brutally wild Kalahari Desert, the continent has the highest concentration of animal, uh, national park, parks anywhere on the planet, with 335 national parks as of 2014. In addition, there are hundreds of game reserves, forest reserves, marine reserves, national reserves, and natural parks. Today, I'd like to highlight the brave rangers who protect our parks and the animals. Rangers are the guardians of our planet's most precious natural Natural assets. The world often the world often remembers these brave men and women on July 31, when World Ranger Day is celebrated. However, today I want us to head to Virunga National Park in the Democratic Republic of Congo. According to, um, to the National Geographic, more than 170 park rangers have been killed in the park since 1996, protecting wildlife in the park and visitors who come to see the animals, particularly its famed mountain gorillas. The wave of violence in Virunga today is said to be the worst it has been in 10 years. Nevertheless, many rangers are proud of their jobs. I had the pleasure to eat, to, of interviewing one of the heroic female rangers who protects Africa's oldest national park. Jolika Vugo is one of the first women to graduate from the park's intensive ranger training program back in 2014. She is one um, of a handful of female rangers who are working to conserve one of the most biodiverse threatened areas on earth. She was motivated to be a ranger as she was keen to follow in her father's uh, footsteps. Jolie's father, unfortunately, is one of the rangers who has died in the line of duty while protecting the park. I will let her narrate her own story. Take a listen. I became a ranger because my father was a ranger before me. I have seen that this job has become beneficial for everyone. After graduating from high school, I listened to a radio announcement about the recruitment of rangers. I applied and was chosen. We first had a pre-selection and then after a selection. And finally, there is a six-month training. After that, we were allowed to become park rangers. Virunga boasts Africa's most diverse wildlife habitat and is home to the endangered mountain gorillas. Um, the park is home to about a quarter of the world's remaining 880 mountain gorillas, as well as lions, elephants and hippos. One would ask why would someone choose to be a ranger given the extreme danger of the job? There's been very significant investment to increase the number of rangers. The number of rangers has increased from 230 in 2011 to 731 today. Let us hear from Jolie on what motivates her every day. The reason I wanted to be a ranger was in order to protect our wildlife. Because our wildlife has a lot of diversity, which is important to our country, Congo, and the world as a whole. I will tell my fellow sisters not to be afraid because of what I do and who I am. They can become rangers like me, and I strongly encourage them to become rangers so that we can work together. Virunga has, um, which was designated a World Heritage Center in 1979, has earned a reputation as one of the most dangerous national parks in Africa. It is home to unparalleled biodiversity, as I've mentioned, which have been threatened by habitat loss from farming and unrest stemming from DRC's two civil wars. The park remains vulnerable, vulnerable to attacks by anti-government rebels and local militia groups. Jolie tells us what she would like to, to be done to ensure the park remains protected. 
Our greatest wish is for peace in Congo, to better preserve our wildlife and that all finances that come from outside can grow for our benefit and that of the whole world. I've been your host, Elaine Wangalwa. Do enjoy the rest of your viewing.